from Television City in Hollywood, the Jack Benny program with a special guest, Fred Allen. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lucky Strike program. Now, on our show tonight, we, um, oh, in, in case you're wondering about these, you know, my uh, producer insisted that I wear glasses when I first come out, because he said it wouldn't hurt if people thought I was Mr. Peepers. <laughs> And he, uh, he had another uh, idea, too, about my uh, standing. Uh, he made this suggestion, you know, that I stand in the center of the stage, you see, and then sometime during the performance, a big two-ton uh, block of cement fall, should fall down and hit me on the head. See? He felt that this would appeal to the people who watched, you asked for it. <laughs> thousands of requests, you know. <laughs> but on my show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as you probably know, my guest star is Fred Allen. And a lot of people think, of course, because of this feud that's been going on for so many years, that Fred and I are enemies, that we hate each other. And this isn't true at all, because Fred Allen and I are the, the best of friends. <laughs> so maybe I'm overdoing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a little bit. I, I wouldn't say that we were the best of friends. You know, I would just say that we, uh, let's say that we're friends. You know, just friends. <laughs> or friends might not be the exact word that I'm trying to say. What, what I mean is that we're more, uh, more, uh, well, I don't know, maybe we do hate each other. <laughs> I know I can't stand him. <laughs> you know, I remember a few years ago, I must tell you this, when Fred Allen first came out here to Los Angeles, to Hollywood, to make a picture, you see. He made a picture called It's in the Bag. And the producer of this picture wanted me to play a small part in it for nothing. You know, I didn't get paid or anything. And he, um, he talked me into it by telling me that this picture would be made in Technicolor. So I was kind of anxious to see how I'd look, you know, my eyes and everything. And, uh, <laughs> he, um, so he told me uh, that this would be made in Technicolor, but the minute we started to shoot the picture, we found out that we couldn't do it in Technicolor at all. They had to make it in black and white because due to a peculiar pigment in Fred Allen's skin, he photographs Argyle. <laughs> twice in the dressing room, I put my foot in his mouth. <laughs> but what a character that Fred, what a face on Fred Allen. With those bags under his eyes, he looks like a short butcher peeping over two pounds of liver. <laughs> but anyway, uh, tonight, after our uh, ra uh, television show, the one we're doing now, I'm flying to San Francisco because I'm opening tomorrow night at the Kern Theater for three weeks. I'm playing a theater for three weeks. And the reason I'm so excited is because this, you know, the very first time I ever appeared in public was in San Francisco. I remember I played <laughs> my violin, you see, and this was, oh, years ago. I, I, I forget just where, I know it was right in the shopping center of San Francisco. I think it was on the corner of, of Market and Taylor then. I understand there's a theater there now. <laughs> but anyway, when okay, I was Mr. playing Betty, that's enough the violin at this point. Raleigh, time. Bill, will you bring the boom in a little closer so we can get the extra scenery right behind you? Good. What is it? What's that's the trouble? Fine. I mean, what, what's wrong? Oh, you won't have to go over your monologue anymore. That's fine, Mr. Benny. The length's just right. Excuse me a minute. Fellas, will you cut the house lights in back, please? <laughs> well, look, 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 I mean, it, you mean I, I don't have to rehearse any longer? No. Well, if I, well, if I don't have to rehearse the monologue, maybe I can rehearse the, uh, the sketch that I'm to do with Fred Allen. Oh, no, no, we can't go over that either because Mr. Allen hasn't arrived for rehearsal. How do you like that? I, 
I give a guy a job because I'm sorry for him. I pay his bus fare all the way to New York. But he doesn't show up at rehearsal. Well, as long as we stop, we might as well break for lunch. Lunch, everybody. Lunch. Break for lunch. Lunch, lunch everybody. Rochester, we're breaking for lunch. <laughs> How's everything? You got oh, everything? Just fine, just fine. 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 What'd you have, boss? No, wait on the customers first. Oh, and then yeah. Ham and cheese. Uh, yes, ham and cheese, ham yes, and cheese. yes, they're very, very yeah, good. Yeah. That's it. See if the orchestra wants something, too. <laughs> yeah. Renly, you want a sandwich? Well, <laughs> 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 oh, don't forget to change. you something. Why, why do you put so much ketchup on the sandwich? Well, that was an idea of mine to drum up more business. Well, how would ketchup give us more business? Well, I figured if some of it dripped on their shirts, we might get to do their laundry, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought of that. You know? That's, oh, a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mr. Benny. Ham or cheese? Huh? I had my lunch, thank oh. you. I just wanted to tell you that as long as Mr. Allen isn't These are here, good. not spicy oh, enough, that's it, that's it. as long as Mr. Allen isn't here, we might as well skip the dialogue rehearsal, and we've got a lot of work to do with the lights anyway, so we won't need you for probably two hours. Uh, two hours. Huh? <laughs> Rochester, look, at I had an appointment with my sponsor at 4 o'clock. Now we're breaking for two hours. I, I'll, I'll be late for the... Well, well boss, if you, if you don't have to do anything for two hours, why don't you go see your sponsor now? Hey, maybe I'll do that. You know, this is the day that he picks up my, my option for next year. Picks you know? up your option? There's nothing to worry about, Rochester. You know, it's just a formality, that's all. You know, he just wants to be sure that he's got me. You know, oh, <laughs> you know for next year, that's all. Right. So I'll run along with him. You sell all the sandwiches and uh -huh. everything, huh? Okay. Don't forget. Oh, by the way, Rochester, while you're selling the sandwich, give him a sort of a floor show. You know what I mean? Sing and dance or something. And that way we can get the cover charge, too, you know. For the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roast beef, ham, cheese, Mr. Bass, special noodle soup. Oh, we ain't got a bell of money. Maybe ragged and funny, but we've got a lot of things on side to side. Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel around sharing alone side to side. In all sorts of weather, maybe the sky will fall. Long as we're together, doesn't matter at all. Oh, that your trouble departed. We'll be back when we started. We'll travel. 